My name is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Wherever You Go, Ruth. Let's read. A famine came to Israel. Elementary. Element, Naomi and their sons went to Moab to find food. Element died. The son married Mobet, woman, Oper and Ruth. Then the son died too. So a famine came to Israel, so they have gone to Moab to find food. But Element died, and their sons married. Oper and Bruce. Then the sun died too. <laughs> the three women had no husband. When the famine in Israel was over, Naomi decided to go back home, stay in Moab. She said to her daughters-in-law, It's your home. So, the three women had no husbands. Elementary died, and Naomi's sons has also been died. So, when the famine was over, Naomi decided to go back home. And she told to their daughters-in-law, that stay here because it's your home. Opa start at Opa stay. But Ruth was said, Wherever you go, I will go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Together, Ruth and Naomi went back to Israel. So Opa decided to stay because he, there is her home. So, But Ruth said she will go with Naomi. So together, Ruth and Naomi went back to home. I went back to Israel. Harvest time in Israel. Naomi and uh, Naomi told Ruth to gather the bits of grains left behind in the field. The field belonged to Boaz, elementary's relative. Boaz approached Ruth. So it was the harvest time in Israel, and Naomi told her that um, bring the left behind in the field. And as in Israel, if they, if some grains fell, just they left it because for the poor people. So, and the field belonged to Boaz, elementary relative. Did Ruth decide to leave her home and go back to Israel with Naomi? Yes. You're very kind to Naomi, but said, Living home must be hard. May God bless you. He gave Ruth food and told his workers to watch over her. 
So, but let's talk to Ruth that you're very kind to Naomi. Living home was must have been hard, and he gave some food and told his workers to watch over her. <gasps> Ruth told Naomi what happened. No, Naomi smiled. When someone dies, his closest relative cares for his family. That person is their family redeemer. Boaz is our family redeemer. Stay close to him. So Ruth told Naomi what happened, and Naomi smiled. Smile. Yeah. In Israel, when someone dies, his closest relative cares for his family. Give to Ruth when he told his workers to watch over her. Number one, um, hand. Number two, some food. Number three, <clears throat> the pot of water. <clears throat> Number two was the correct answer. <clears throat> so Ruth still, <laughs> so Ruth stayed close to Boaz. He liked her more each day. Boaz gave elementary land and took care of Naomi and Ruth. Then he asked Ruth to marry him. So Ruth stayed close to Boaz and Boaz liked her more each day. And then he asked Ruth to marry him. Son called Obed. Obed's son was Jesse's. Jesse's son was David, and David became a uh, David became Israel's greatest king. So God bless Ruth, just as Boaz had prayed would happen. Is the greatest king in Israel. Question: Did Israel, uh, Israel's greatest king, was Ruth's great grandson? True. Yesterday, I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time, I'll read another good story. Then, let's see you next time. Bye.